been a dream for you? Uh, yeah, it was. It was. Um, obviously, it was a long time coming because when I did move over there um, on New Year's Day this year, obviously everything kind of shut off in Scotland um, due to uh, coronavirus. So it was that was my first game. Um, so I was over there for about three months. But yeah, yesterday playing against Celtic and uh, obviously getting to, getting the start and um, my first professional uh, my debut and then getting a goal. Yeah, I can't. I haven't really thought about it much. It's been a it's been a mad few hours, so um, yeah, I'm delighted. Okay, and just how did the move come about? Was it due to the European game when you you were so unlucky to lose some penalties against them? Yeah, so um, we went over there uh, with P Mount, uh, played against them in in the Champions League uh, qualifiers, and from then a few a few days after that, Scott got in touch, and uh, it just from then it went from there, and yeah, I decided it would be a good move for me. Um, it was it was the right time to to move on. Yeah, that's great. Thanks. No problem. Um, I think we're short on uh, people for the live section. I'll carry you. If you want to ask one another a couple of questions, or if anybody asks, uh, Rock Gallo, then if you want to come in. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can go ahead. Yeah. Hi, Neve. How's it going? Hi, how are you? Yeah, not bad at all. Um, just in terms of Glasgow, um, uh, as well. Um, did you speak to Vera about the move before actually, uh, before deciding to do it? Um, yeah, well, I did let Vera know that it was uh, it was in my intentions to uh, maybe go abroad, um, and then when I brought up that Glasgow uh, were were um, were interested, um, she was she was happy for me, and she said it'd be good for my development um, as a player. Obviously, you're training more, um, you're in a professional environment, so um, yeah, I did speak to her, and uh, she she gave me all her support. Yeah, and your uh, one of your club teammates has been invited into the squad, Aoife Colville. Um, what's she like as a player, and has she spoken to you a little bit about, um, I suppose, looking forward to joining up with the squad? Yeah, obviously Aoife is a great player. Um, I haven't seen, I haven't seen much of of Aoife, but like she's a, from what I've seen in training, um, because we haven't had matches. Um, she she had a great game yesterday. Um, against Celtic, she's a strong physical player and um, good finisher so um she'd be a great addition um to the squad and yeah she was chatting to me about about the Ireland camp and stuff and um how things are are run and obviously I was uh, I was all praised because um because it's great and all the girls are great here and they'll be very welcoming for uh, for when Aoife comes in yeah and just one more for me so the Brazil game obviously was something that Hopefully, would have happened. Unfortunately, it's not. Um, I guess given they're such a massive football nation, it's a bit disappointing that that game or that friendly isn't going ahead. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um. It's disappointing, but sure, we do have um we have Denmark coming up now and then uh, and then Belgium. So um we're really looking forward to that and our focus is on that now. Thanks, Steve. No problem. I'm Kelser. Right, Gareth, is this the embargo section? Uh, yeah, unless you want to ask a couple of live questions, it's not that many okay. people on. Like. I know, I know you're going to go Okay. Uh, now, just personally, what's it like moving to a new country, well, I suppose going from one lockdown to another? Um, yeah, it was it was tough, to be honest. Um, obviously, when I went over there, we actually had a full week's training with the team and then things got shut off. So I did get to know the girls a small bit. Um, but with things shut down, it's it was... I suppose hard to get used to, but the girls over there have been great. They've been very friendly and welcoming into the squad, and yeah, I've been loving it so far. Yeah, like, were you in a clubhouse or were you by yourself at that time? Um, so I was in a, a clubhouse. So there was me and one other player, Shay. So I live with her, and um, so it was good to get to know her and um, obviously find out more information about the team and uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, it was it it's been good. Yeah, uh, was that is that your first time living away from home and stuff as well? Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. So I had to. Um, I was FaceTiming my mum a lot. Uh, every day going to the shop, what washing up powder to buy, what what how to cook, butter look. Um, it's all part of growing up. So uh, yeah, I've been uh, I've been working hard on that off the pitch. Yeah, and uh, before Glasgow City came in for you, like, were you looking to go full time? Um. Yeah, it was always an ambition of mine um, to go full time. Um, I didn't know if it was going to come sooner or rather. Like I didn't realise that it would come as soon as it did. But when they got in touch with me, when Glasgow City did come and and uh, 
contact me I said maybe it is the right time to go and um, to step it up a bit um especially uh obviously my goal is to is to get into the to the team here and um when you look around me and all the players um that we have here they're all playing in a professional environment and they're I suppose training much more um than I was at Piedmont so in order for me to to break that step in I think um I felt it was it was the right time to go all right, thanks very much. No problem. Okay. Dave Kelly. Hey, Dave. Um, Hello. Yeah, you said you got to see every coffee shop in, in Glasgow and your, from your cookery, cookery uh, expertise on Instagram. Yeah. Um, in terms of, of, of the move, though, um, and Bira was speaking about this uh, yesterday in terms of where Irish football is, obviously, with the league is growing but it's it's not there it's some way to go yet i mean how disappointing is it for a player in your position to have to leave this country to pursue that professional career yeah i wouldn't say it's disappointing like you have the likes of Anya O'Gorman who who has like what over 100 caps and has spent her whole career in ireland um but i suppose it is frustrating if if you do want to take that professional step and it's not there in ireland um it's some girls want to do it, some girls don't. Um but yeah, um I think the league has come on a lot even since I've since I started when I was sixteen. Um the standard is there. Um and I think in the next in the next few years hopefully it can it can go on leaps and bounds and hopefully it'll become semi professional and then in the future professional. Yeah, I suppose to get in an ideal world, you wouldn't like to leave your your own country, your own team, and your own environment to have to pursue this career. Yeah, obviously you'd be like you're more content at home and um, living with your family. Um, you have your friends around you. You have that support system. But to be honest, I'm relishing the challenge over in Glasgow and moving away from home at a young age. It's it can only do you the world of good to be honest. Um, and you're obviously meeting new people. Um different players from different um, countries you're playing with. Like, you don't get that in Ireland. So, yeah, to be honest, I'm relishing it and um, I'm, I'm delighted that I did make the move. Yeah, um, just a few issues the seven. And in terms of, of, of the difference, I mean, what's the main differences you've noticed in terms of the environment and the, the setup and the professionalism of Glasgow compared to, say, the league here? Um, the main difference really is that they train more um like I'm on the pitch five times a week plus a match at the weekend compared to when I was here in Piedmont um I was training twice a week with with uh, with a match at the weekend so obviously it's a big step and um, that is the main difference I do feel that if the clubs here in Ireland had the facilities or they do have the facilities but if they had the time if they had the contact time with the managers and and the coaches that that professional clubs abroad are, um, I think they, they could definitely compete. And just finally for me, um, in terms of your own game um, and what you've sort of done until now and getting to where you are, international recognition and winning medals with Piemont, I mean, how, how, how can you see this move changing the way you play and developing you as a player? Well, I think I'm training more, so if I'm training more and playing more, um, it's only going to make me a better player. And I'm in the camp here, and I've I'm surrounded by professionals who are have so much experience and are training most days. Um, the likes of Katie McCabe, um, Louise Quinn, all of them. I want to aspire to to be as good as them. And I felt that at home in Ireland, when I'm only training twice a week, um, that wasn't possible. Um, to try and make that leap. Um, I really do want to play play for my country and try and get into the team and I thought that was the best option for me to, to go abroad. Okay, thank you.